If you want to impress your friends with a really sophisticated starter, then this is it. It's our Salmon Gravelax. To cure our salmon, what we need to do is mix it with some salt, some sugar, and the flavours of orange and beetroot. Okay, and then when it's cured overnight, then we can serve it with a fennel salad. Okay, it's a really crisp, show-off kind of starter. So we're curing it, not cooking it. Correct. Process of osmosis and changing the pH, but we'll come to all that so later like magic, on. Then. First of all, it is kind of magic. First of all, though, we need to make our kind of sludge, and okay. it's the sludge that's going to cure the salmon. Yum. So sludge. salt and an equal ratio of sugar. What we also need to do into that is grate a beetroot. So you don't have to add the beetroot, but it's perfect because it gives it a great colour. And while you're doing that, I'm going to grate at the same time on the other side of the bowl an orange. So the zest of orange. Now, orange and beetroot, great flavours together. And what the salt does is change the pH of the fish. So it's okay. kind of, as you, as you cook fish with acid sometimes, this is the reverse of that, but it also draws out all the moisture from the fish. Oh. Okay, and that's the osmosis. And that helps cook it in the process. What we're gonna do is squeeze the juice of one of our oranges into there as well. And then Barry, if you can grab a spoon and mix the whole mm. lot up into a sort of pink, purpley, beetrooty, orangey sludge. What a strange mixture. So our fish, in this case salmon, is completely raw. Okay. We've taken the skin off, but it's one nice big piece. Mm -hmm. However, said that, we serve really small portions of Gravelax, so that's mm -hmm. enough there for four or six people as a okay. starter. So if you can just bury that in there. The great thing about this starter is you do it way ahead of time. The curing process does take time. You don't need to sit there and watch it. What you need to do is cover this, cling film or a lid, and put it into the fridge because that salt and sugar needs to go through the okay. curing process. So that goes into the fridge overnight, and what you're left with is one of these. Okay, so we've made one ahead of time. And now the texture has completely changed, really? and it has essentially cooked. Okay, so if we take it out, rub off as much of that excess sludge as possible. Okay. Now because of that, it's just salt, sugar, and beetroot and orange. You right. can reuse really that for up to a week or two, curing more salmon if you like. It looks really solid. Well, feel it, it's like, almost like leather. Oh, okay, so be careful as you rub it off, but what we're gonna do is try and rinse off as much of the excess sludge as possible now. I'm gonna chop up some parsley over here. So this is just fresh parsley, and what we want is a nice, fine dusting. It's now cured, and it's clean. Perfect. So what we need to do is pat it dry. You can see this was still the bottom, where yep. the skin was. So the presentation side up, pat it dry, and then if you can smear it with some whole grain mustard. Okay, and that's going to act as something that we can stick our parsley to. Plenty of the parsley on top, which we'll just pat on there like so. And that is pretty much our salmon ready to go. That can be carved up at any point. In the meantime, we can do some fennel, which is what we're going to serve it with. So I'm just going to take the top and bottom off of our bulb of fennel down one side. I'm going to use some really, really thin strips of fennel, and then if you can put them into the bowl with a squeeze of lemon juice. This is quite a sharp aniseedy taste, isn't it? This? Yes, fennel is aniseed. It's also got, because it's raw, a real crunch. So again, if you ever design a dish or a recipe, you want balance of texture and flavour. And to combat and balance out that lemon juice, also a little bit of icing sugar, which sounds a little bit strange, but that works really well. So mix it that all in together. It does sound really strange. And you can see it doesn't take a huge amount of cooking process, albeit it does need overnight, but we can start to slice up our salmon ready mm. for our starter. We take thin slices. The thinner you can slice it, the better. So pink. And it, Well, that's the beautiful beetroot cutting through. You can start to arrange that very, very neatly on our plate. I get scared of these bits, Ben. Don't forget, we need that balance of this fennel, which has the lemon juice and the icing sugar. A little bit of that on there for crunch. I find a little fennel frond really pretty on top of there as well. It's a very simple, less is more kind of dish, but it's a classical, classical Scandinavian favourite. So there we go, our salmon and beetroot gravel axe sorted. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. That is proper posh. <laughs> proper posh. Proper posh. Lots of subtle flavours, nothing overpowering each other. And if you didn't want to plate it up, it looks pretty awesome on a board. People can slice their own, and that will keep in the fridge for a couple of days too.